hear the story now why I'm in a cast? Or do you want to hear... You're in a cast? Yeah, yeah, look at this. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he had to kick some ass. Uh, this guy comes up to me in the street, starts in with me. I pop him right in the face. Wait a minute. I pop break it. my thumb right on his uh, face, but he's in the hospital. So I took what? care Why did you break what? your knuckles instead of your thumb? Uh, I'm just kidding you. I'll tell you how the real story in a minute. Oh, there was no guy? <laughs> no. It was a girl, actually. But I don't want to say that. Out, I took her out. Oh, you should see her. <laughs> She'll never model again. <laughs> Only what five models. in the world Some dingy broad here? came up. To him. This, this dinghy broad punches me in the nose. <laughs> and you don't have to dig. And I break my hand. Oh, dear. No, I'll wait till you hear how I broke my hand. I broke my thumb, ladies and gentlemen. So it's broken. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's oh. it's it's See, more than broken. I didn't even know what was wrong with you. I just it's splattered. They don't, put, they don't put something on you like that unless it's Look busted out. Oh, this is, I'm going to the hospital today. They're putting on a real cast. This is considered a splint, what you see now. Oh you just, God. this is an emergency. I, and I'm on so much Vicodin, I don't even know what where I am. What are you doing here? Hey, uh, can I buy some of that from you? I got 30 of them. Nice. Oh, bro. Oh, man, you can make a mint. <laughs> hey, uh, Gary, get me a tequila because I'm on Vicodin. That would be a nice buzz. That's right. Yeah. Can I guess what happened? <laughs> sure. Was it a gym accident? Yes. Happened at the gym. Did you at drop a weight gym? on it? What? Did you drop a weight on it? No, I didn't drop any weight on it. Somebody else did. Oh, somebody oh. dropped. Yeah, I'll tell you what happened. Oh. Some chick. <laughs> yeah, you ever hear of this football player named Marco Battaglia? Uh, he broke buddy. my thumb. You're a good buddy. He broke he my broke thumb. He broke your thumb? I, I bro yeah, it's, it's pulverized. Jeez, what did he drop on it? 45-pound weight. Oh, my God. What, what, where was your hand? Oh. Like, Here's what happened. You know, this is the dumb. I don't even know that I can explain this well. Are you really angry with him, or do you just no. see that it as an accident? It's an accident. I'd like to kill him. <laughs> you were angry with him. <laughs> I'd like to actually kill myself. It's because I'm a do-gooder in the gym, and I'm going to be changing my ways once I get out of this cast in were six weeks. Were you helping him out? Yeah. Here's, well, here's what happened. How could you help Marco Battaglia yeah, in the uh, gym? Here's what happened. It's a weird thing. When I go to my gym, you know, I'm not sure how this happened to me, but I, people like to work out with me. And uh, I'm a good guy. I, I sometimes don't see, as, despite how I am on the air, off the air, I seem to be less vocal. I, I kind of accept things You're more. You're a pushover. I'm a pushover. <laughs> you know, I'm good on the air, but in real life, I'm more of a pushover. Mm. If I had a microphone on me 24 hours a day, life would be a lot different. You should strap one around your neck. Yeah, like this cast holder. <laughs> so when I go to my gym, um, you know, I work out with Pat. He's the personal trainer. And really, I think it's supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one session. That's what I get billed for. I get billed for a one-on-one -on -one session. Not a group session. Not a group session. I'm really supposed to have personal attention from Pat. Because it sounds to me like you all of a sudden have a training partner. How about four? Oh. Okay. Now you. This is a group. You know, and so most of the people that I see, in fact, 100% of the people I see who work out at the at the gym have a trainer, and the trainer stands there while they train. So, um... Now, with, with you, it's you and the trainer and four other people? Well, what happened is Pat started, Pat started working out with me, which I like. Right. Because we'll run together, and then we do the weightlifting together. And I enjoy that, because really, when you weightlift, you're supposed to wait between sets. So while he's going, I'm resting, mm -hmm. and it works out great. And I love the guy, and I love working out with him. It, it, in fact, I like it better than someone just standing there and watching me. Right. You know, for my taste. Mm. Doesn't it make it less yeah. boring, too? Because that's the other issue with lifting weights. It gets boring. It does. Know? and But but really, the, the whole concept at this gym is you don't sit and talk the whole time. Because if you do, it becomes like a girls' club. Right. You and know, you're not really concentrating on what on you're On the workouts. So we've been very... And Pat's a real uh, stickler for that. He's like, you know what, man? He goes, okay, ladies, let's, you know, shut up and, and work this out. This is serious business. Yeah, I like that. It's almost like the Army. And I, and I dig it. I like the intensity of the workout. <laughs> I like it. I like to go to the gym and blow off steam so that I'm tired at night and I fall asleep. That's my concept of working out. So anyway, somewhere along the line, Robin, I started working out with Pat. Yes. Okay. And Pat's terrific. Everything's fine. Then all of a sudden, I don't know, somewhere along the line, and I can't tell you exactly when, other people started joining my workout. Like Pat would say, hey, you come on in and join in with us. And I don't know how I really feel about that. Like Richie Notar. That's how I met Richie. Right. He joined. Richie is the guy from Nobu. He joined my workout. And I'm not sure why. And I like, I like you know, Richie and all that kind of thing. But uh, who the hell needs him in on my workout?
That's how you met Is Richie? he getting yeah. a bill for sa- for personal training, too? I don't know what he's getting. <laughs> I don't discuss it with other people. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's probably good for the gym because the more people he can train at once. Uh, yeah, the more he can make. That's right. <laughs> it's good for him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how good it is for me. <laughs> so then somewhere along the line about a year ago, Marco Battaglia, a professional football player, who played for the Cincinnati Bengals uh, and I think is going to go to another team this he's year. He's now with the Redskins, right? He's with the Redskins, but I think he's a free another agent now. And, and he's got a whole bunch of teams already interested in him. I don't think this guy has any problem. Well, wait till they hear uh, he broke your thumb. Yeah. <laughs> he's out. He's gone. He's out of the league. Not for him. And, and Marco is a great guy. Let me preface it by saying I love the kid. Yeah. He's a great guy. Yeah, I met him. He's a real nice guy. Great guy. Yeah. All right. Somewhere along the line, he joined in on my time slot. It's uh-huh. my time slot. Right, but so everybody's taking turns during a break. You know, yeah. once you get off the weights, mm. Richie goes in, then yeah. Marco goes in. And as I said, Marco is Pat's favorite in the world. Uh, I am not. So now you got a gym class where you're not even the favorite. Guy. I'm not even. The, not only is it my personal session where <laughs> I'm supposed to feel like I'm the favorite. Right. Marco is the favorite. <laughs> and because Marco is a professional football player, the entire workout changes around Marco. Mm. We could be on a course of action. If Marco comes in. Whole game plan's over. Whole game plan's over. Suddenly you're lifting 10,000 pounds. That's right. We're now but, doing the Marco workout. Right. It's the Marco workout. <laughs> Suddenly I'm doing speed running because Marco is a receiver and has to practice running Wind fast. Win sprints. Win sprints and all that. Now, Suddenly you, all running is, you know, I mean, it's all about Marco. Do you guys ever bitch to mm. Pat about that? I no, mean, I on. never bitch about anything because with Pat, you got to do what you got to do. If you start bitching, then you're not one of Pat's guys. But why? It shouldn't even be mm. you guys because it's Howard's training stuff. It's really, I, I realized about, <laughs> I realized after some, about a second after my thumb broke, I wouldn't be in this position if yeah. I had my own training <laughs> session. <laughs> this wouldn't even happen to me. Yeah. Because, quite frankly, Pat wouldn't even let it happen. It's just that we're so busy with Marco. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you what happened. So Marco decides to bench press. you got to load up Marco's bench press with three 45-pound plates on each side. Right. Oh so Richie's yeah. doing one side and you're doing the other? Richie something? doesn't do a goddamn thing. Oh, Richie ain't the man. <laughs> Richie's one of those guys at the gym. I change all the weights <laughs> with Pat. Oh, my God. And Richie's one of those guys who, I don't know if he's pretending. I don't think he's pretending. But he kind of stands around, which is another thing that pisses me off. He doesn't work out? Oh, he works out, but he won't change the weight. In other words, Uh, he'll wait for the weights to be changed. You know what I mean? Somehow he manages never to touch a weight. Yeah. He's one of these guys that, like, you know, he he gets in a conversation with somebody and... uh, He's looking away. uh, He's doing something. I'm the kind of guy, if I see Pat changing weights, I go, I don't care that he's my trainer. He's a human being. I'm going to help. You but I'm feel stupid. stupid standing well, there. Well, changing yeah, the weights the, is part of the is part of the workout. That's the way I right, look exactly. at it. Exactly. It's part of the camaraderie. But if it's me and Richie, it. if me and Richie are changing the weights yeah. or if it was just me and Pat changing the weights, it's a difference. When you're changing Marco's weights, it's like changing 10,000 <laughs> pounds. It sometimes takes 5 minutes. It's just a workout to, just to change his weight. Well, it's yeah. a major transition. And which transition. is fine. I don't mind right. doing it, but but you know what? It's just like it's it's slow. it's just everything about Marco and loading his weights up. <laughs> the whole bar has to be changed. Yeah. It's he a can't whole work with your bar. He no, has a heavier bar. It's a whole heavy oh, bar right and it's that. amazing. It's amazing amazing uh, thing that it goes on. Yeah. So I go to the gym and really a lot of it when Marco's in town is changing the whole workout around Marco, changing Marco's weights and everything else. And Marco, we call him Baby Huey because <laughs> what he do- Marco sits on a medicine ball, mm-hmm. it explodes, it breaks. He breaks everything. One time he sat down on a, on, on a chair, the chair broke. Oh, my goodness. The guy's a moose. <laughs> and he's a guy who doesn't even know his own power. He'll break so anything he in its path. Go to playfully lift you up and throw you into the Exactly. Ceiling. And I say, Marco, stay away from me. I don't want to be near you. He's got legs like the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> he's bench pressing. He's squatting. And there's Every no, weight in the gym yeah, is now on the and there's And the bar is bending. <laughs> and there's no amount of weight that satisfies this monster. He's like that unbreakable dude. He's Mongo. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And you know what? Even that, I mean, it's inspirational at times. But also, it's like, you know what? I feel like a woman standing here. Right. Well, why am I working out with this yeah, guy? Yeah, I mean, I want to work out with Pat, and you know, but whatever. You know, I always feel, listen, Pat knows best because he has gotten me into incredible shape. The guy's an incredible trainer. So why argue with success? Mm. If this is what he wants to do, fine. Even though I think, I suspect it's more about getting four or five guys in at once. 
And all of them paying the single rate. I don't know what the other guys pay. I know I'm paying plenty. Th- there should be a group rate, though, don't yeah. you think? Yes. If you're with that many people I think and it, you're changing weights. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I got to tell you something. Hey, you need a kickback. I, I'm saying <laughs> maybe I should get some money. Right. Well, all right. It's not about the money for me. I don't mind paying at the gym and all that, but you it's know what? It's just that I object to mm. you're supposed to get personal training. Well, sometimes I yell at Richie. I go, Richie, how about a little help here? <laughs> You know, how about help, help out? She knows. You know, and Pat really should yell at Richie. Say, hey, Richie, why don't you change your weight once in a while? Richie knows better. Yeah, well, Richie's like a prince. <laughs> prince Richie, His I call him. His hand is fine. His hand's fine today, by the way. <laughs> he went right back to working out. Uh, you know, so, um, anyway. I'm oh, sorry, Gardner. I'm just saying, don't the Bengals have a gym where Marco could work out? Yeah, well, right. <laughs> well, this is all about, you know, it really is more about Pat and Marco. They're the key team here, and I'm just... You just get to tag along. I get to tag along. Yeah. So anyway... um, uh, You're changing the way. So anyway, yesterday, I'm doing what they call uh, deadlifts. Whatever that is. Deadlifts is where you have... uh, I Who know the cares what it jerk. is? I don't know the deadlift. Oh, I'm a jerk, all right. <laughs> I'm the biggest jerk. The deadlift is very different than the jerk, Robin. I clean and jerk. Right. I clean and jerk the gym. Uh, that I'm order. the jerk who cleans the gym. Yeah, when Marco works out, I'm the weight boy. So anyway, <laughs> we decide to bench press. Okay. And we're in a phase, oddly enough, of heavy weight. Because guess who's working out? Marco. Marco. And Marco likes heavy weight. Marco like it. Marco like it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Make the weight heavy. Stern, <laughs> change weight. <laughs> Marco lift. Bring me so, bigger bar. Okay, picture the bench has the bar on it. You know uh-huh. what a bench press right, is. Sure. Okay, it has the bar on it and has two 45-pound plates on it. Right. Because um, we're setting it up for benching. And we're about to change for Marco's weights, which means we have to add two more 45s on each side. Okay. And those are heavy even to lift off the floor. Marco goes... I don't like where the bench... The bench was a little bit crooked. Uh, he has to straighten uh, the bench out. He starts to push the bench with the weights on. And stupid me, I see he's struggling. I'm going to help over. him. And meanwhile, why am I helping? This guy's a moose. I shouldn't even be involved. And even Pat says, when you move a bench with weights on it, you take the weights off. Right. right. The safe thing to do would be to unload the bench. But as Pat says, Marco doesn't know his own strength. He starts to pick up the whole bench. So I go to help him. My thumb no. is positioned that it's between the weight, because I'm, I'm going to now push, okay? It's, uh-huh. it, he's pushing. It's between the weight. I wasn't really even doing anything. It's right between the, the metal of the bench. See, I don't know if I can explain this. You mean those it's things right that here. hold the bar? Yeah, right. And the weight. Right. Marco moves the whole thing forward. The weight shift oh. and snaps into my thumb. Oh. Bam. Well, you know what? That was dumb. The weight, clips, worse. the weight presses against my thumb and smashes down on it. A 45-pound weight. <sighs> I look at it. I hear a crunch. I hear crunching of Your the bone. Your whole, whole finger crunches. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, crunches. So I know it's broken. Everyone's going, don't worry. Maybe it's not broken. I know right away. And I let out a scream like an animal lets out. Oh. Right. By the way, I didn't cry or anything. Oh, you're good. Too many guys around. Well, okay. You know, too many guys. I wanted to, I wanted to cry. <laughs> it really hurt. <laughs> it really corner. hurt, but people say, how bad was the pain? I go, well, you know what? My mother used to drill my teeth without Novocaine, uh, you know. Back to that. And I said, nothing's worse than that, so. No, there isn't. This, isn't, this is bad, but it ain't worse than that. But honestly, that story's even worse than what I thought it was. I thought for I some reason your, yeah, your, your thumb was on the ground and it no. dropped. No. Yeah, that's that what I is, thought. Maybe something fell on That's no. a direct hit. A direct like hit. A bam. Yeah, yeah bam. that's like if you had your hand <laughs> right. in the, the top of a car and you slammed the door. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it's like, which I've done. And that hurts. And that hurts. This is exactly what happened. So, uh, Pat quickly packed it in ice. Marco's standing around. I feel horrible. Dr. Feely? (laughs) Dr. Feely's out on Long Island, but I had to go see my kids, and I wasn't going to miss my visit with my kids. Wait a minute. You mean you went to the kids with the hand? Oh, don't worry. Wait a second. I'll tell you. No, no, no. I went to Dr. Feely first. (laughs) I I was in no condition to do anything. So, what is Pat saying now? What? No, I mean, Pat said Pat, been... Pat's upset. Pat's upset about it. And uh, where was he when the guy is moving the bench? I think he was getting a drink of water. Oh. You know, <laughs> while I was moving the bench with. I, you know what? That's my problem. He's like I, I look at Pat as I don't look at him as a guy who works for me. 
you know, when I hire him to train me. Right. I see him as another human being, and I don't like someone doing stuff for me. So I always help. Yes. But um, I'm stopping. I'm going to have... Like, I see these other guys in the gym. They stand there while the trainer changes all they the weights. They know how to do it. They do. What am I doing? They pay somebody to change the weights. I know. So they let them. I feel like... I feel awful for the person changing the weights, and I'm going to help. You know... But yeah. I've learned my friggin' lesson. I'm going to stand there and let other people change the weights. That's so, what I'm paying for. Now you in the ice. So they... So Pat packed my hand in ice. I mean, literally right into the ice. But boy, it hurt. You, it's even hard. Mm. Well, how do you? I mean, yeah. ugh. oh, oh, it's gross. And it was, you know, it was gross. You could see the cut right there. You could see the friggin' oh. bone. And, really, um, it was open. Well, it's open, yeah. Oh, the doctor had to clean it out. Oh. Frickin' bone. But uh, so Marco's standing around, going, "I feel terrible. I feel terrible." I go, "Would you get out of this room?" <laughs> so he goes, "Why?" I go, "He goes, I'm staying with you." I said, "You know what? I don't blame you. It's an accident." Crap happens. I said, you're just driving me mental. <laughs> Leave and go work out. Now it's make, you're making too much fuss. Yeah, he's too fussy. Get out of my sight. I'll pay you to leave this room. <laughs> he would not leave. He stood uh, there. He goes, I go, you know what, Marco? Why don't you just pick me up in your arms and carry me to the doctor? Yeah, what's Marco <laughs> saying after Did all? he do that? I called him later. I said, you know what, dude? My apartment needs cleaning. I can't clean. You go clean my apartment. <laughs> what did he, he would. say immediately, though, Marco, when he Oh, my God, him. I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, he, he knew. He knew he'd... He, listen, he, he didn't mean to do it. Marco's the nicest guy in the world. He is. Like Mongo, he walks. Around. Oh, right. I'm Mongo. sorry. sorry. Yeah. You got to stay away from him. Me sorry. Me sorry. You trapped Mongo. Very bad. So I'm thinking my thumb's broken. Mongo hurt Howard. The thing I'm scared about is whether I can move it because I know if the joint oh. is uh, yeah. screwed up, you got to get an operation. Oh yeah. You know. So uh, I'm sitting there. I'm taking the pain. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe it's not broken. Maybe, but but I heard that crunch. And, I, and did oh. you even try to move? I tried to move it. I could move. I could move it back and forth, and I could move the top, like from the knuckle up. I could move it down a little bit. But really? as the as I kept icing it, it stopped moving more and more, uh, and it was just kind of hanging there. Mm. So I didn't know what it was. Pat called the doctor, and I said, "Hey, listen, I got to get out to see my kids on Long Island. You know any doctor on Long Island?" Turns out this doctor he knows has an office on Long Island. Uh -huh. He's got an office in Great Neck. So you just jump in the car? Jumped in the car, packed in ice. Oh, God, you went out to Long Island? Like yeah, that? yeah, the whole ride. Yeah, yeah well, you know what? In the, the, bucket. the Dr. Pat knew in Manhattan was in surgery, so... Uh, you would have had to wait for him in. I would have had to wait for him, so I figured, let me get in the car and I'll be close to the kids, because, you know, I don't want to... I, I love seeing my kids, you know. I, I, this is, Divorce sucks, and, and I, I, you know, I just want to be consistent all the time, and, you know, for me, never mind them. So, I go to the doctor, the x-ray guy. He, he because the doctor goes well maybe you know we'll see it looks you know it doesn't look great because it looks pretty bad but gotta get the X-ray I get I get over the X-ray I say listen talk turkey to me you've seen every one of these injuries what's going on you, know, you, you definitely broke it I mean, you know come on man. <laughs> you've you know. got six months to live yeah exactly <laughs> the X-ray I got the X-rays here did you, you look at them did you see yeah. you can see yeah you can see you see what happened it's like right on the th but in a way not I'm like shattered it's Broken. It's broken. The doctor said, from what he can see, they're not going to have to put a screw in it uh -huh. to hold the bone together, because uh, it's a little bit. It Displaced, didn't. Fr but yeah. You can it's broken through, but it's and it's also kind of mushed, like smashed. I you know. Have to see this. Yeah. Yeah. You'll see. It's a mess. But I'm just saying, they can make it go back together they can. without. He doesn't think I have to do anything right. other than be in a cast for about six weeks. Uh huh. You know, and let it heal. Well. There's a question I'm dying to know. What? You're a righty, right? Yeah. How do you uh You don't wipe? Mm. Oh, a wipe? I, I wipe with my even, left hand. He's you a do? lefty. There. Yeah, I'm a lefty there. That's the only <laughs> that's the only thing You're I, kidding me. I wipe lefty. I wipe lefty. What an advantage at this point. I'm just wondering how you shower and stuff. Okay. Well, yeah, you have to put right. first of all, they put these new kind of casts on you that are like mm. waterproof. It's not like the old oh. plaster cast. But you have a wrap. plastic yeah. bag over it. I should make Marco wipe me. He ah. should do everything. Wouldn't that be you. great? Yeah, yeah. I should because he tried he literally he he did it to me. Yeah. I should make Marco wipe me. He should be your hand. Yeah. Marco, you wipe me. How the hell do you wipe lefty? That's um, I could my equilibrium will be thrown yeah. completely <laughs> off. And you know what? I'm really I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not like mad at Marco or anything. No, I'm no. mad at the situation. I'm like I just don't want to spend six weeks 
you know, not being able to work out. And I'll tell you, I hate being hurt, period. Yeah, and, and I hate people like saying, oh, can I help you with this? I, you know, you want to be independent, you know. Well, they're telling me once they put this cast on and You'll the swelling goes down, around I'll be able stuff. to do some stuff. Yeah. You know, I'm going to make Marco put on my condoms, though. I was going to say, he should be your hand. Yeah. Whatever that hand would do, Marco should do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your he, hand has a head. Yeah. yeah, he has to bathe me and wipe me. and br You know what's hard is brushing your teeth left. Right, right. Oh, forget about yeah, it. It sucks. Everything. I couldn't imagine doing anything left. Yeah, it's, it's annoying, but I'm saying I'd rather it be dropped on my hand than my foot or something yeah. like that where, where you like had to right, hobble right. around. That I hate hard. that. And and tell, uh, let me tell you. And I can run, I think. nothing more scary hmm. than not being able to move out of people's way in yeah. Manhattan because they I'm on crutches and they would get as close as possible and I'd always think they're going to knock the crutch out from under me. Yeah. So the doctor, doctor bandaged me up. He said, hey, I'm going to give you Vicodin. I hear Vicodin. I'm like, hey, oh, not maybe bad. maybe this wasn't so bad. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> hey, now. Hey, now. Vicodin. <laughs> Pow. Yeah. Vicodin coming at you. And plus, right. even the doctor said to me, he says, see this kind of thing? Even a break? And if you were in the NFL, I'd bandage you up, put put a steel right. thing on your thumb, and, and send, send you back in the game. It. So I'll go, okay, put yeah, the steel see, thing on me, well, send me back in the game. Marco probably hurts people all the time, <laughs> yeah. but it's usually during a game. Yeah, well, fine, if you're getting paid for it. <laughs> I don't even mind. I wouldn't mind hurting my thumb in a football game, but having a guy move a weight thing and just clipping it. <laughs> yeah, that's dumb. Yeah. I wish I'd beaten the piss out of a guy. Uh, yeah, if you had had the story that I was fighting a guy and I broke my hand punching his face. Yeah. Be good. That's what you said to Marco. You, the favor you're going to do for me is the story is I beat you up. Yeah, let me punch you in the face. <laughs> punch you in the face, and that's why I broke my thumb. Yeah. The only call I was dreading making is my mother because I know she puts yeah. negativity into my head. And right away she would be downing the whole mm, workout right, thing. Right, right. Well, so, she goes, well, right away I go. I broke. I tell her how I broke the thumb. She goes, you know, uh -oh. <laughs> those weights, I see those weights in the gym. Because she comes to my gym once a week. Uh -huh. I have her doing some physical therapy stuff. She goes, those weights, I never go near them. <laughs> They're very. She walk in the same room. Yeah, she goes, I never walk near them. I see them, and they look dangerous, and you can get hurt. They look this dangerous. is what she says to me. Uh, and she goes, and who is the doctor you went to from the gym? Who is that? The gym I don't know that a gym doctor. I go, no, 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 he's a regular doctor. But it was like, oh. Uh, she doesn't understand that this is a doctor who works out at the gym. <laughs> no, 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 no. He actually does some work at the gym, but oh, he also really? has offices on in the city in Long Island. Uh -huh. Like a sports doctor. Man, but you know. Oh. So she knows those weights are dangerous. She goes, she those weights are dangerous. There. She goes, you know. <laughs> Look at those weights. You don't need that. And then she said, did you meditate? I go, Ma, I was in the middle of going to a doctor. I had to see the kids. I didn't, you meditate? That will heal your bones? And I'm like, okay, listen, I got to get off the phone. I want Vicodin. I, I'm fine. I want Vicodin. I don't need to meditate. Vicodin is meditation to me. I love how this didn't change your schedule a bit. No, I wasn't going to let it. Thank God he was can not work it in. Let it. it really is unreal. I'm not giving in to this. He worked in the broken thumb without yeah. changing his schedule. I just hate walking into a room with a big giant cast on my hand. And I know, going, because right away that's a conversation yeah. you got to have with everybody. You know, in, in the past I didn't have to converse with anybody here. When someone says to you, what happened? Yeah. You know? Oh. Mm. Are you all right? Why do people get addicted to Vicodin? I, because because it's a derivative. It's sort of like the formula close to morphine. Yeah, right. it's a narcotic. Yeah, because it's like a Demerol type Beth said, thing, yeah. I fell asleep and I was giggling. <laughs> and uh, she said, I, I, I said her name about five or six times giggling. Oh, that's funny. Does that always happen? She goes, I wish I had had the tape record. She goes, I went, I was like, <laughs> You know, like a big, a big dopey baby. Oh, I've done that yeah. before I've fallen asleep. I just go, bad. <laughs> 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 well, last couple of months, I've been bad. Yeah. Oh, oh, dear. You know what you got to stay away from? That Demerol, yeah. man. Did you ever try pill that in pill form? Uh, no, I've never done that. Oh, I tell man. you, I haven't like done heroin, a lot of this stuff. I, I, when I was in college, I did a lot of pills because yeah. I, I had a problem. Right. But, but there's even something stronger than Vicodin before you get to Demerol, and that's ooh. that Oxycontin. That's the one that really gets them. That's what kids are crazy yeah, on they're, now. Yeah. They're, that's really bad. I'll ask the guy today for that. <laughs> get some of that, man. Get some of that. <laughs> yeah, because you start taking that stuff, and then you pick up the tabloids, and you read who's in a rehab from Vicodin and Oxycontin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Ryan, you're on the air. Hey, good morning, Howard. This hey, bro. Ryan from Cleveland. What's happening, Ryan? Listen, man, I'm a personal trainer down here in uh, southwest Florida now. Yeah. And uh, I really could probably help you out so you don't drop dumbbells on your head. 
<laughs> well, it, you know what? If I had done this to myself, I'd say I was a real klutz, but my boy did it to me. Seriously, you're lucky that you didn't drop it on that huge schnoz of yours, because then you'd have been in real trouble. <laughs> yeah. Well, believe me, there's a lot worse places you could drop a dumbbell on. I don't think there's a splint for that. No. No. Listen, uh, you're the king of all media, and uh, we love you down here. All right, Florida, man. man. Thanks. So, uh, Later. Take it easy. Bye. Um, Could you imagine if your nose had gotten caught in that same oh, spot? Oh, just be quiet. Oh, shut up, Artie. You're no beauty either. <laughs> the guy already said that. The only reason I hired you is because you're worse looking than me. <laughs> Whatever I can you do for you, man. You make him feel better You make me look himself. good. This, uh, that's the only reason. <laughs> hey, look, man. I'll come to the gym with you. There I'll you make go. you look great. <laughs> you stand get, next to me. I'll get a pair of spandex. Drop a weight mm. on you. I, I was real proud of myself, too, because I had just recently begun doing those push-ups where you clap. Right. You were talking about that the mm. other day. I'm going to be clapping anything now. No, it won't be pushing. Mm. Oh, you were bragging about that yesterday, man. Yeah. That's right. Uh. That's what I said. He has <laughs> really been bragging about his prowess in the gym. I was going to do a few of them here for you. Um. Did the doctor say how long you'd be in the cast? It says five to, he goes, you don't worry, you'll heal fast. Five to six weeks. I went, oh. That's a lifetime. a lifetime. But hey, you could do those one arm push ups. Yeah, <laughs> like Rocky. I'll find a way to, to rehabilitate myself. There you go. Pat swears to me that there's stuff I can do to work out. Well, there it is. Hmm. But he could also uh, have been using, he could have been moving the weight. Yeah. Yeah, that's, like he's opposed to it, you'd be fine. I know. <laughs> I'm mad at him. That's right, because it's his responsibility even let me. to keep you safe in the gym. Two reasons to have a personal trainer. Right. So that you work out properly and that you're safe. Good. You call him and tell him. That's right. Pat, wait for my call. <laughs> work out <Scott>. properly. <laughs> hey, brother. Hey, what's up? Hey, man. Uh, two things. First of all, I just want to thank you for getting up every day at 4 o'clock and entertaining us. You know, for years and years. Thank you. Uh, they, and by the way, give Academy Awards for that. Thank Marco Battaglia feels so bad about it mm -hmm. that I could get him to do anything for me right now. <laughs> well, what do you want him to do? I, I, he should, I, I, give, you, he should give to wipe my ass. <laughs> yeah, hand release. That's okay. We don't want that. <laughs> That's yeah. a little gay. For, not only is that a little gay, <laughs> but uh, with that guy, he's such a big galoot, he'd probably rip it out of its socket. Mongo <laughs> 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 hurt <laughs> Howard's penis. <laughs> Hey, uh, listen, I, I was just thinking on the way into work this morning as I was listening to you, you know, you've been talking about getting a six-pack, and you got six weeks to do it now. <laughs> yep. You should mo use this as motivation. Do nothing but legs and stomach. Yeah, well, maybe that's what I'll do. Pat will figure it out for me. Hey, listen, thanks again for getting up every day. We oh, really thanks. appreciate it. All right, no problem. All right, brother. Yeah, everyone say, well, how can you do the show? I said, it's my thumb. It isn't right, my it's voice. it's your mouth. Yeah. By the way. Does Pat know now that you are doing a one-on-one -on -one session? I haven't told him yet. Okay. I haven't had that discussion. Maybe we should call him. <laughs> yeah, that would be easier. I think you might have just told him. <laughs> he, he could care less what I think. <laughs> no, if we call him on the air, you'll be able to say it. Yeah, oh, I can say anything on the air. <laughs>